Boom! How's it, how's it, how's it? Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of Mark's Tasty Tongue. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to slice as usual. Um, excuse my voice, it is slightly hoarse. Uh, no, there's no frog in my throat. It is from singing or shouting, whatever you want to call it. Um, at my festival this last weekend, some of you were there, some of you were not. And I'm going to just head straight into this. So, excuse me while I sort this out. Hopefully you've got full view there. I'm sure you have. Got some beautiful roasts. I've got six, but we'll probably only go live for at least three of them, I reckon. Uh, this is for another event this weekend. It is for an event called CAT Community Action Trust, something like that. And they help the old people, the aged, the struggling in Africa, back in Zoom. Whoa! Look at that baby! <laughs> That's a monster! What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? No, it's Mark's Tasty Tall Beef. Now, this is sacrilege, I know, but I'm going to be cutting most of this fat off. Purely because I need to make with this mostly chili bites and original bites for my event this weekend. Um, some of it has got really nice fat on some of the other roasts, which I will not be cutting off. I'll just try and rescue most of it. But I'll show you what we do with them in a minute. This is all pretty thin stuff here. Yeah, anyway, the good fat is there. It's fine. I'll, I'll cut that off as well. You get the hardcore Africans will be crying when they see me cut this off. But you know what? There's plenty width as well, so... Bit of both is good. I am trying to take the thinnest of slivers off the top. Very little meat off with that, but that's proper slippy stuff. Try and go in just under the skin. Here I'm doing what I always tell you not to do, is cut towards yourself. Do not do that without knowing what you're doing. Obviously, I've done this a few times, just a few. So how was your guys' uh, week? How was last weekend? Did you do anything exciting? I imagine there's been a few bries and a few dops going around. We certainly did at Zambezi Fest. It was an epic weekend. Absolutely, th thoroughly enjoyed it. Pretty much sold out of my biltong. I did come back with sticks, but I did also make a lot more this year because um, I did not want to run out. And I, ultimately, I still ran out of dry balls and stalkies, but that always happens anyway. Right, I'm done with this side. I'm going to split these two now, but let's um, turn this around and get the rest of this off this. They've done me the favor of taking most of it off already. I'm going to keep that piece. Gets dried up for the dogs. I just put them in separately. If you, are, if you have got pets or you know someone with dogs, this side strip tendon is perfect for them. 
they'll chew on it for hours um, but I wouldn't salt it or anything like that just dry them as is as long as it's very dry won't go off or anything so I'm playing some 60s in the background if you noticed or didn't notice so don't mind me right like I said I'm getting most of this fat off because I want chili bites and original bites for my event on the weekend do not go on the website and order five kgs of women chili bites because then I'll be run out again <laughs> actually orders haven't been too bad this week not too busy on orders which helps me as well so this is where we split the two roasts, the upper joint and the lower joint. Try to do it as gentle as you can. Sometimes I just bloody hack into them. And there is sinew here which we want out. We don't want the sinew because that's what makes it chewy. Excuse me. I was always step away and cough away from any meat. I thought I best go live because I haven't been for a while. Just so you guys can see me. You haven't seen me for a while, have you? <laughs> I bet you missed me. Not. Right. Woo! And it's warm in this room today because I've got the machine running at the moment. I've got a batch out tonight. And then this batch will go in tonight. I leave it marinating all afternoon and by this evening it'll be fine be ready to go in and ready to rumble I'm trying to get as much of the fat off as possible on this that's why I chose the biggest one first because I knew it would be the easiest actually to trim. It's the smaller ones that are riddled. What I might do with this one carefully is just cut that piece with some meat, just like that. A nice little seam of fat in there. And that'll go as is. Right, we've got our Jean Patrick. Don't throw these little bits away. I dry them. Those are my little testers. So the smaller bits I tend to keep for steaks. Because I don't want small stockies, I want nice long ones. I am also expecting a delivery, so if I hear somebody at my window, I will just go and deal with it. See if that's got a bit of fat in like that, it goes straight into my sticks. Straight into sticks. I want now a nice flat base, so I'm just turning that over. Square that up. What I might do with these now as I'm doing them
just cut my strips for my chili bites or my original bites. You want them 10 mil, 10, 15 mil, it's fine. Wouldn't go thinner than that, really. Just makes it a lot more difficult when you come to hanging. It does take a bit longer now, but you know what? It's uh, better to do it as I used to do it afterwards. I still do sometimes. But if you just do it as you're doing it, it's less work after. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I've got six pieces out of that. Nice chili bites there. So now I've got a flat piece there. I've, all I did is flip it over. That piece is going to go to built on. These would not be great teething sticks because I'm cutting across the um, grain. These make great stockies because you see where the grain is and now I'm cutting across them. When you eat it, it's going to come off easy as stockies, very easy. It won't be tough. So don't worry if you horse up your lines a bit, it's fine. See that wants to turn again, which is fine. Keep going to your bigger side. I'm just going to cut this up now and then do the stockies. You don't want the pieces too thick either. Run your fingers in between, make sure you've gone all the way through. Beautiful. Let's lay two next to each other. I usually use the filleting knife for this, but not going to make too much difference for me doing it because I'm doing this as I think we're going to do a couple just a couple of roasts live today and then the rest I'm just going to get on with because it gets a bit boring for you guys so these now I'm literally going to cut nice pieces. Let's um, do these two. One, oh there's three actually. You have to learn your lessons as well. When you do something wrong, learn from it. Make sure your stockies are bone dry before you bag them up. Because if you don't, you keep trapping moisture in there and you're inviting mold. I have had that before. And it's no fun because then you are losing product. This has a little bit of skin on there, but it'll be fine. No one even going to notice that. Well, now you've seen it, you will. What's <laughs> happening here? Beautiful, I've probably got about 10 kilo already for bites. I'm gonna need about 30 kilos, or maybe 40 even. I don't know how many I'm taking. I have got a couple of orders to fill, so might be a bit less. 
It's all right, as long as I take some with me. Happy days. If you are interested in coming to the weekend event, it is Sunday, the 29th of August, this month. And it's in Toaster, T-O-W-C-E-S-T-E-R. Um, do another monster. And that's in Northamptonshire. So have a look on the page. I have put a poster up. They need all the support you can get. They don't take pre-bookings. You literally pitch up and get a, a armband or whatever, a wristband. Loads of South African stalls. Um, mostly Zimbabwean stalls actually. Textiles. I believe there's even a guy with that uh, selling like wire cars and stuff. Um, if you ever remember the ones sold on the side of the road in Zim on the way to Kariba, um, I'm told there's a store where the guy is selling those. And if you've got a little toddler or something, nothing more satisfying than watching them push a little wire car around. It's quite cool. I've actually got a, a tractor in my loft. Um, when little kids come, I let them play with it. So I'm doing this one slightly different to the way I did the last one. I did the top first. This time I'm doing the bottom first. See this one, this is where it's got to be separated. It's difficult doing it this way, but I'm going to do it just to separate them. That is nasty stuff right there. <laughs> Congealed blood on the side there. And cut all that off, it does not dry well. Plus there's a bit of sinew under that from the join that comes off. Here we tidy up the edge on this one. Woo! Did you see that slip? Lucky there was nothing under it. Like one of my fingers. Try and get all the sinew off here. So now, see this edge here? All congealed blood on the edge side gets cut off. Let's get it out of there. We do not want it. Let's do that bit there. So who's at work and who isn't? <laughs> I've got this week off so purely because I had so much to do here at preparation for the next first. Obviously I ran out of stock from last weekend so needed to restock. I'm going to turn this. This is the silver side. They've taken most of it off. And some of it is still there. Right, let's flip her over and see what we got. Hardly any decent fat, so this one will get trimmed up as well. Again, just under the skin. Try not to take too much beef off. I love that yellow fat there. We'll leave that. Like I said, I'm gonna rescue as much of the decent fat as I can. Because it is criminal cutting it off. <laughs> Wish my voice would come back. Well, by next week I'll be fine. Usually about a two week recovery process on the voice voice box it's talking to customers over the weekend you've got music blaring behind you all the time so quite often you are shouting or should we say speaking loudly <laughs> 
So what I'm going to do with this piece here is just try and cut it off with a bit of meat. Boom. We are good to go. Now, always have this angle pointed at me. So this either off the left hand side of the animal. We, we're back on the Jean Patrick. It's nice and sharp. It does help when you've got nice tender meat. Still a bit of... I might start using these pieces now for stalkies. I'm gonna do the whole thing and then cut the strips. That's what I did before. Well, before, before. Nice, massive pieces here. Don't be afraid of where you're cutting. So, like with that piece that'll be built on, that'll be a stalky. Let's separate these now. Done, 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 done. Right. Turn that over. What you want is a nice straight edge. Let's go straight down. These will have a little bit of fat on them, but some people look for those packets. I tend not to make my stalkies fatty. Um, get the very odd customer want fatty stalkies, but I try not to. They should be lean and dry. Also don't like to go too thin either it just makes a lot of hard work for you for nothing as long as you dry them correctly a little bit thicker is fine beautiful this is all Irish beef by the way and it is silver side I keep getting people asking me what kind of beef is it it's silver side. It's always silver side. Um, I have had the odd customer ask me to do a top side. Just because you can make it from top side, it's generally more expensive. Cut. But that one's got a hole in it. It's fine. Let's just go between the hole. And then that piece there, I'm going to go all the way across. There we go. Um, what am I going to do with this piece here? I think that's all got to be trimmed off. A bit of nice fat there though. So, when you've got a nice piece with some nice fat, just take it all off with a bit of meat and you've got a nice fatty bit of built on there. Here's a bit more trimming on this side. So yes, I'll um, ultimately I will let's see I'm gonna cut this piece, got a bit of fat, so cutting that off with beef, boom. We're good. There's a bit of sinew on the top here. Take it off. And whichever way you want to go, as long as you're going lengthways, let's just start taking this side off. Then flip it to your biggest side and trim again. How many viewers have we got? 60. Yes. Actually, six. <laughs> But for me, that's okay. 
I don't mind if there's one person watching. Enjoy. If you can learn from me, I'm happy. If you want to see your biltong being made, I'm happy. Stockies. getting these what you can do as well just lay them all out like this and you do a whole a few pieces at a time so that's what I'm doing try and get the longest you can on them the longer the stalkies the better for hanging space put it that way sometimes I double hook which means you put one on top of the other. On the really short pieces, but if you don't need to, then don't do it. Right, oh, let's throw that in the bill top. I need to weigh up these tubs now, I've got overflowing meat. I am gonna just have a quick rinse. That was in the packet, take that off. I'm going to say cheers, have a good weekend, don't do anything I wouldn't do, and uh, stay safe. Cheers guys, until next time.